Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn about something called allotropes. So what are allotropes? Well, allotropes refers to the ability that some elements have to exist in two or more different physical forms. For example, if we take a look at carbon, carbon can exist in several different physical forms. For example, if we take a look at diamond right here, this diamond is nothing more than carbon atoms arranged in different geometric patterns. If we take a look right here, this is also carbon. It's the exact same thing that we see over here. It's just these carbon atoms are going to rearrange themselves in different geometric patterns than we see over here. And that will give us our second type of carbon allotrope called fullerene. Okay. If we take a look over here, the pencil lead that is in your pencil is not really lead. In fact, it's carbon as well. And it's carbon in a third uh, type or form of allotrope. All right. So graphite is going to be a third allotrope of carbon. Once again, it's carbon just like diamond and fullerene. It's the exact same stuff chemically. It's just in graphite, those carbon atoms rearrange to form different little geometric patterns compared to these two. And last but not least, if we take a look at the fourth or a fourth allotrope of carbon, we have soot. All right, soot, like if you have a fire in a fireplace at your house, uh, that black stuff that lines the, uh, the chimney afterwards, that's going to be uh, elemental carbon. That's going to be soot, a fourth allotrope of carbon. All right, so all of these guys are exactly the same thing chemically. They're all going to be carbon carbon, carbon, and carbon, but the way that the carbon atoms rearrange themselves determines the, 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 the different allotrope of carbon that you see here, diamond, fullerene, graphite, and soot. So now let's take a look at a table showing different um, allotropes for the different elements, and hopefully you'll get the hang of it. All right, so what we're looking at here is just a table of several different elements and the number of allotropes or different allotropes that they have, all right? Carbon is not the only uh, element to form uh, multiple allotropes. There are, in fact, several of them that you see right here. For example, phosphorus. Phosphorus can form several different allotropes. There's white phosphorus, red phosphorus, violet phosphorus, black phosphorus, and diphosphorus. Okay, so these are all exactly chemically the same thing. They're all phosphorus, the element phosphorus, but they just exist in different forms. If you take a look at sulfur, sulfur has uh, approximately a dozen different allotropes. And in fact, you see three of them right here. There's disulfur, there's trisulfur, there's tetrasulfur. All right, these are all sulfur. They're all chemically the same thing. They're the element sulfur, but they exist in different forms. Same thing with oxygen. There's the stuff that we're breathing into our lungs right now, which is O2. Then we have ozone, which is O3. Chemically, they're identical. This is oxygen here, and this is oxygen here. They just exist in slightly different forms. You have O4 and O8, which are two more different allotropes of oxygen. And last, if you take a look, we have arsenic. There's, uh, there's uh, several different allotropes of arsenic. There's yellow arsenic. There's gray arsenic. There's black arsenic as well. And all of these are chemically the same thing. They just exist in different physical forms. All right, so allotropes refer to the ability an element has to exist in different forms and if you found this helpful and if you like what you see go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel if you have any comments feel free to leave them in the comments section below and i hope you found this helpful